Hello, I am Nadi. Today we will discuss the problem find equilibrium index of an array. So equilibrium index of an array is an index such that sum of elements at lower indexes is equal to sum of elements at higher indexes. That means for an array given of size n, if I am saying i is the equilibrium index that means sum of elements from the index 0 to i minus 1 is equal to sum of elements from the index i plus 1 to n minus 1. So element present at ith index is actually neither involved in left part nor in the right part. Right. So let's consider this example. Let's consider this array. In this array, 3 is actually the equilibrium index because sum of elements from the index 0 to 2 is equal to sum of elements from the index 4 to 2 that is minus 1. Right. Sex is also an equilibrium index but we just need to figure out the first equilibrium index that is present in the array. Right. Let's try to solve this problem. So let's first discuss a very basic and new solution that comes to our mind. So what we can do is we can pick each index one by one and we'll try to check whether this index is equilibrium index or not. That means for every index i present in the array, we'll find the left sum and the right sum and then we'll check if both are equal. That means let's we'll take two variables one is left sum and other is right sum for i is equal to 0 my left sum would be 0 and my right sum would be sum of all the elements from the index 1 to 6 that is a of 1 plus a of 2 till a of 6 that is actually 7 so now we can see the left sum is not equal to right sum that means 0 is not the equilibrium index now we will move to the next index that is i is equal to 1. For i is equal to 1, my left sum is just a of 0 that is minus 7 and my right sum would be sum of all the elements from the index 2 to 6 that is a of 2 plus a of 3 till a of 6 that is actually 6. So in this case also left sum is not equal to right sum. For i is equal to 2, left sum would be a of 0 plus a of 1 that is minus 6 and my right sum would be sum of all the elements from the index 3 to 6 that is that is actually 1 for so i is equal to 3 left sum would be sum of all the elements from the index 0 to 2 that is minus 1 and my right sum is sum of all the elements from the index 4 to 6 right that is also minus 1 so at this index left sum is exactly equal to right sum that means this i is our equilibrium index right so let's let's check this check its pseudo code but its pseudo code actually looks right so what we can see here is so we have taken two variables, left sum and right sum, just to find out the left part of the sum and right part of the sum. So in this loop, we are calculating the left sum of the array from the index 0 to i, right? And in the next loop, we are calculating the right sum of the array, that is from the index i plus 1 to n. And then we are checking if both are equal or not. If both are equal, we will just return the equilibrium index, right? So actually the time complexity for this algorithm is order of n square which is for every index we need to traverse the complete array. So that becomes n square. Let's discuss the better approach for this solution. First find the total sum of the array that means my sum would be sum of all limits that are present in the array that is a of 0 plus a of 1 till a of 6 that is 0. Then we'll iterate through the array and we'll keep updating our, our left sum which is initialized as 0 and in the loop itself we can find out the right sum by subtracting the elements one by one from the total sum of the array. That means what I'm saying is we'll take two variables left sum and right sum, initialize the left sum by 0 and right sum by total sum of the array. Right. So,
for i is equal to 0 my left sum is actually 0 and my right sum would be total sum of the array minus a of c right so i is equal to 1 my left sum would be previous left sum let's call this left sum as l and call this right sum as r so my left sum would be previous left sum plus a of 0 and my right sum would be previous right sum minus a of 1 so this way we can update our left sum and the right sum as well in the loop itself for i is equal to 2 my left sum would be previous left sum plus the element at the index 1 and my right sum would be previous right sum minus element present at the index 2 so this way we can find out the left sum and right sum without traversing the complete array right so similarly i is equal to 4 is equal to 3 my left sum would be previous left sum plus a of 2 that actually becomes previous left sum, left sum is actually a of 0 plus a of 1 and we, can, we added a of 2 that becomes sum of elements from the index 0 to 2 and my right sum would be previous right sum minus element present at the index 3 so my previous right sum was actually sum of elements from the index 3 to n minus 1 from this we have subtracted the element present at the index 3 that means it becomes sum of all the elements present at the index from the index 4 to 6 that's what we want right so this way we can find out the left sum and right sum and we can figure out then if both are equal or not right so let's look at this look at look at its pseudo code that would look something like this so in this case first in this loop i'm just calculating the total sum of the array and then i've just taken a variable called left sum and then initialized it to zero this loop is for traversing the whole array once this sum is actually the right sum of the array which I am gradually calculating by subtracting the elements one by one and then I am checking if this is equal to my left sum or not if it is equal I am just returning the answer otherwise I am updating my left answer with the previous left answer plus the current element right so this way we can find out our equilibrium index in the linear time.